Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Metal video. So in this video we are going to cover the final campaign, I believe, before we have the pre-anniversary events for DBZ Dokken Metal Global. So just to take a look at everything that's come out, uh, it is the Guidance of Fate Returning Hero campaign uh, and we'll take a look at the special missions first. So you can get up to 24 dragon stones from login rewards and limited time missions. The missions are pretty straightforward. Uh, clear a stage with at least two or more storied heroes, the new category units. Clear a stage in under two minutes or less five times. Clear a stage without taking any damage a couple times. And clear stages with only using super attacks a couple times. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, then mainly the rest are stamina, Z awaken a character which should be quite easy with the new free to play trunks uh, and of course consume a certain amount of stamina, stamina and finish all of the missions for a total of 8 stones and a elder car. So pretty good, uh, you know not a lot but it's not a very long campaign, it's quite short. Then the login rewards, nothing too special here, the single stone each day along with couple training items and a elder kai on the last day so just make sure you log in uh, then from there we're going to go take a look at the campaign uh, and at least see what we have in store so the campaign is pretty straightforward and very very short uh, obviously it's starting today with the login bonuses the special missions uh, there's a couple discounted summons, uh, dragon stone purchases for those who are interested in buying stones. We have the new legendary summon banner which we'll go through just now for Tapion and Minosia. Uh, then we have the connected hope summon which I don't suggest you pull on. Uh, and we have the extreme Z battle event, uh, the new one for the giant form category lead Tapion. Uh, that's going to be 30 stones and it's not too difficult so it should be pretty good for players to challenge and take on. We have some returning story events, the Wrath of the Dragon has a new reward added to it, the Dokkan Awakening for the Tech Trunks. And then we have a couple returning story events that we can farm for a couple Zenny and some items. Then from Thursday we have the second edition of Petan Battle. Uh, for those of you who are struggling for Zeni or anything, that's going to be good for you. And then we have next week Monday the Genius Bulma Battle Prep, which obviously is the prelude to the 37th World Tournament. Now obviously we're going to want the World Tournament to kind of kick off uh, as much as possible because we really, really, really need some of those stones. Uh, so yeah, definitely a, a good event coming up, picking up some stones just before the anniversary. Uh, and with these, this campaign finishing on the 6th of July, uh, we kind of know that the pre-events for the anniversary will begin around then as well. So a lot of stuff coming into DBZ Dokkan over the next two weeks, uh, a world tournament, uh, the Easy Age just dropped, so just enough to kind of whet our appetite before we have you know the big anniversary content drop for us but the extreme z battle i uh, will cover in a separate video on how best to take on that but it's going to be 30 stages one stone per stage the connected hope category and extreme tech and super tech units are going to be the best way to go you will receive 10 agility grand cars from it uh, and you know tapion gets quite a good buff uh, he Obviously buffs up the giant form category, he's got attack and defense 120%, he reduces damage received by 50%, and he's got attack of 80% when HP is 50% or less, and he can activate his giant form. Uh, it's important to note uh, that this EZA is one of the better EZAs because it's going to make the giant form SBR a lot more bearable. It wasn't impossible to do, it just took a really long time due to the fact that you basically waited for giant forms to kick in. But now with the improved stats of the leader skill, it's really going to help just improve the overall damage of the team. So now we've gone through the events and everything, let's take a quick look at the banner. Uh, I have done a summon on the banner, it was 35 stones for the first round of summons. Uh, they are some discounted summons. Uh, I would say to people, maybe do one discount summon like I have. Uh, you're going to get more than 35 stones back from the event. So if you're comfortable with your current stone balance going into the anniversary, 
uh, or you kind of you know want to maybe be about 50 or 60 stones higher considering world tournaments and all of that i definitely would say you can go on the first step otherwise don't spend your stones so this is the storied figures lead here uh, they are pretty good they well i mean they look pretty good their passive looks really really good they're also a sibling bond buff uh, you know, they also support for that category. Uh, they have a whole bunch, a wide range of effects going on. Uh, they're really good defensively. They're one of those LRs that's really, really top-notch. Uh, they also have some really good animations. Uh, and they fit on their category quite well. Uh, they fit on siblings' bonds quite well due to their support. Um, and yeah, they also uh, have some really good linking partners. They got the tech tape on, they got the agility tape on. Uh, both of those are really good linking partners for this card. The agility Tapion having his easy air also makes him super good as a pairing partner. Uh, and they just have a nice variety of effects. Um, they're a really solid card, they've got an active skill. So yeah, overall, um, I definitely think they're a great ally. Are they worth dropping stones on or chasing? That's going to depend on how much you enjoyed the movie. Um, the banner itself, obviously they're pretty good. Uh, this AGL Tapion is obviously very good, being like pretty much the only really good giant form category lead. Uh, the Tech Tapion is alright. Uh, he could have probably deserved an easy A as well. If he got an easy A at the same, with the same easy battle, I think I would have been quite happy with that. Uh, I think it would have made him, you know, just this whole trio really good. And we have the Tech Trunks, the Physical Trunks, who both recently got easy A's. The AGL Trunks. The Student, Master, and Disciple of Bond trunks, the physical movie trunks, we have Demigra, we have Zhangya, we have Demon King Piccolo. A lot of these are okay SSRs, but nothing too amazing. Obviously being a fan of trunks, all the trunks are really cool for myself, but they're not necessarily worth chasing. If you have copies of them, like if you have a single copy or a copy of them or two copies of them, it's definitely not something that's going to be worth chasing over and over and over again. Overall, the banner has 12 SSRs, so it's going to be really hard to pick up the LR, so I definitely don't suggest chasing them. If you are loaded with stones, you want to take advantage of the discounts, you can do so. But that's going to be it from me, guys. I'll see you in the next video. So until then, cheers, stay safe, and bye!